Let's review a pattern matching. One thing that I would like you to be able to do is tell which strings match which patterns. And those patterns could be described by a regular expression or by a context-free grammar using Bacchus Naur form. Let's look at regular expressions today. So here are a bunch of different patterns. That's a regular expression, that's a regular expression, that's a regular expression, that and that. You're meant to be able to read these and understand what they mean and describe whether they match strings. So here's a bunch of strings, some short, some long. Which of these strings is matched by this regular expression? Well, this says any of A, B, or C repeated zero or more times. And all of these are strings containing A, B, and C. Okay, so they all match. This says something different. Zero or more A's followed by zero or more B's followed by zero or more C's. That includes A, B, C, but not C, A, B. In fact, the only other one that it includes is some A's followed by some B's followed by some C's. This one says either A, B or zero or more B's and C's. So B, B, C would be okay. C, B, C would be okay. Nothing would be okay. A, B would be okay. But none of these are okay. Now, how does quantification interact with groups, which involve parentheses? This says that repeated one or more times is a substring which starts with A followed by one or more B's or C's. So I could have A followed by two B's, and then A followed by a C, a B, and a C, and then an A followed by a C, and this says there might be another A at the end. A is optional. Now we have to go through and look whether these strings match this pattern. A followed by some B's and C's, and an optional A at the end, which doesn't happen to be there. This always starts with an A, so that one's out, that one's out, that one's out. How about this? A followed by some B's and C's, A followed by some B's and C's, and optionally an A. A followed by, oh, there's no B's and C's after the A, so this one doesn't work. And how about this one? A followed by some B's and C's, A followed by some B's and C's, and then an A. That's okay too. All right, and finally the long one. This says, first, you can either have AB or BA, but no AA or BB. So AB or BA. I can have this repeat one or more times. And then after that, optionally, there's an AB or there's the letter B or the letter C. So things I could create are ab, 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 C, or just ab, 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 or ab, ba. So let's match up against these strings. Ab followed by the letter C optionally. That's okay. It has to start with ab or ba, so that's no good. This does start with ba followed by the letter C. That's okay. This has two ba's. This has an ab, an ab, and a C, but then it also has an A at the end, so it doesn't match. This is not ab or ba, and this is. This is an ab and a ba and a ba, and then there's this optional part, which in this case doesn't exist, so we still match. 